goes in the second semi-final but in this uh, first semi-final with just the first two going through there is so little room for error line up from the inside Alex Canones of Ecuador of Norway probably the most experienced 29 years old now he goes in lane four semi-finalist in the Olympics in uh, 2008 in Dure American Chris Mitchell relatively inexperienced at this level he's run in the world juniors before came fourth back in 2008 five years ago but no major championship since then so a lot of nerves out there I suspect from the American and Hortelano well we interviewed him this morning didn't we near a sport and he was a very confident he's at college in the USA perfect English very very confident and up for this and uh, the Spanish champion might well progress if he can reproduce that sort of form Jimmy Vico there out in lane seven just outside the uh, Spaniard so four Europeans in this first semi-final of the men's 200 meters the first two go through by right with two fastest losers this is semi-final one Kinona's in one Gordon in two Weir of Jamaica in three the Norwegian and Dure in four Curtis Mitchell USA five Hortelano the Spaniard in six Jimmy Vico of France seven and Delano Williams of Great Britain in lane eight Well, away they go and showing well already is Enduray in lane four. He's on the best 50 so far. Coming round into the straight, beginning to hold him down, getting into his running. Scottish Mitchell from the USA and in three. Warren Ware's looking really strong too, the Jamaican. These three well away, but only two go through by right, remember. The American Mitchell moving away. Warren Ware in second place and about a metre back is Enduray. The winning time, 19.98 from Curtis Mitchell. It's a new personal best, if that's confirmed, from the 24-year-old. Well... Let's see if it is confirmed, because that is some run. 19.97, it's a personal best by two one hundredths of a second. It took a long time, Chris, to actually get motoring, but what a straight he ran. And Dure are going backwards as Weir moved through to a comfortable second. Well, the afterburners were on, weren't they, from Mitchell. Staggering last... So they're the lineup for the uh, second of the semi-finals in the 200 meters and uh, what it features the uh, the man known as Mr. Bolt Usain Bolt he goes in lane four with the 100 meters 86 is at season's best so the second of the semi-finals first to remember only go through by right that man of course red hot favorite and the lineup in full is Zuka Zalewski Jobadwana Bolt in four Livermore Ellington Adams and Young Young in the, of the USA to the left of your screen the two Jamaicans in four and five the job Edwana, also in yellow there in lane three a slightly uh, tighter t-shirt tighter skin Nineteen seventy three, remember the world leading time and the winning time in that first semi final, nineteen ninety seven by Curtis Mitchell. Hey. Away they go. Usain Bolt, not the best of starters but he's uh, already up and running and he's already on the shoulder of uh, Livermore here comes Usain Bolt also going well is Ellington look out for Job Edwana as well Job Edwana such a talent matching Usain Bolt stride for stride Bolt's already easing up Job Edwana's coming through as well and Isaiah Young 2013 the winning time appreciably slower than that first semi-final he's grinning with every reason Usain Bolt a jog in the park a jog in Gorky Park you might say just over the other side of the river easy as you like for Usain Bolt but Job Edwana, we mentioned him Tim before the race started very impressive and he got that second qualification spot well I went for a run in Gorky Park at lunchtime and I can tell you I wasn't going that fast <laughs> and I didn't see Usain Bolt either that is some run from Job Edwana, really new name the little South African dwarfed by Bolt you can hardly see him there the other side of the big Jamaican but uh, really impressive young oh three meters down I guess they're in third place the American on the outside lane and 
2036 for him. I can tell you that he is on uh, the second fastest loser spot at the moment is a young, the American, so he's in the final as things stand. Job Adwana, personal best, 20.13 in second place. Uh, Bolt, high quality finals here on the infield. The hammer for the women as uh, Lysenko, the defending champion, takes to the circle for her fourth throw and the long jump. Plenty of eight meter plus jumps already in the early stages and listen to the crowd get behind Tatiana Lysenko lying in second and that is a monster you can tell by the reaction from the crowd Lysenko takes a bow a little shot of Anita Vlodacic there from women's hammer throwing well, I'm just checking, Chris. I make it the second longest throw of all time, 78-80. That is some performance from the Russian. Can she be good? Hussein Bolt winning that uh, second semi-final from Jobodwana's personal best. Uh, Isaiah Young at the moment so is a fastest loser your spot. Around your first. Seeing his teammates, uh, Warren Weir from the first heat and Usain Bolt qualify OK from the uh, second heat. Jason Livermore, by the way, the fourth Jamaican in these uh, heats, didn't make it through from... Uh, heat two, semi-final two, I should say. But Wallace Spearman didn't look great this morning. He really didn't. He's here because uh, Tyson Gay suspended, of course, for a doping offence. Otherwise, he wouldn't have made it to uh, Moscow. He was fourth in the U.S. Championships. Seventh fastest man of all time, though, Wallace Spearman. On his day, he can be fantastic. He's still only 28. So it's Spearman, the American, in one. Sakonas of Greece in two. Edward of Panama in three. Then Ashmead of Jamaica in four. Martina of the Netherlands in five. Jamelia of Great Britain in lane six. That's a good draw for the Britain. Schmelik of Ukraine, seven. Lahata of Lesotho on the left there in lane eight. Really good start there from Chorandi Martina in five for the Netherlands, but also going well at the moment is Ashmead in the yellow of uh, Jamaica, halfway around the bend. Jamili's got a little bit of work to do here, but he's got... 19.98! Oh, my word! The youngster has joined a very, very special group of Europeans who have broken 20 seconds. And Adam Jamili looking really strong. I thought he might have left too much on the track this morning, Chris. But that is a stunning run from the youngster. He's so powerful. He's a bull of a man. And he really worked hard the last 50 to take that. Personal best, the second personal best of the day for Adam Jamili. What a mature performance. Absolutely outstanding from the 19 year old 1998 confirmed beating on the dip as you say Nikhil Ashmi 20 seconds dead they're the two qualifiers well he was impressive over 100 meters wasn't he we've known about him on the shorter sprint distance but is 200 meters I wonder going to be going forward the best option for Adam Jamili that was outstanding tower of action both uh, on the infield and on the track not least through this man Usain Bolt but the crowd still buzzing there from that performance by interesting thoughts there from uh, Usain Bolt doesn't think that this particular Mondo track in uh, Moscow is uh, world record material and well, that's how it happened Usain Bolt winning pretty comfortably in the end but Job Adwana if you weren't familiar with the name before this evening you are now from South Africa student games double champion and uh, that was impressive Yes, uh, running to a personal best there. Jobodwana, 20.13. But the sensation...